Hi, everybody. I just want to talk about a cool cartoon. I watched it back in the 80s when I was a kid, and I finally found some cool stuff to talk about with it. So I actually picked up the Blu-ray of this, the 25th anniversary of Rock and Rule from Unearthed Films. This movie was state-of-the-art back in the 80s. Uh, these are some of these songs in this movie are, movie are original, like uh, original soundtrack uh, songs for this. These, these are the people in it, Cheap Trick and Iggy Pop and stuff. Uh, there's lots of cool extra features in this thing. Uh, it's got an alternate version of Rock and Roll. It's got a different voice for the character of Omar, which is this is Mock. He's a super rocker. It almost reminds me of Mick Jagger the way his lips and his face is. It almost reminds me of Mick Jagger. Or yeah, kind of like a Golden Mick Jagger. Or, yeah, something like that. That's Angel, and that is Omar. And these two are in a band together with two other people. Oops, the two other guys. And basically, there was a. Uh, so that, uh, but, 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 I lost my train of thought there for a second. But there was a. This is a, this is the cartoon. And there was an, on the back here. There says that there's a uh, alternate version of this. And what happened was it's a really low quality, but. The original was burned in a fire. I think that's what they said. It was, it was destroyed anyway. So they had to make a copy of a copy. So it's really low, low resolution. And it was it's a different voice that plays Omar. The Omar that it's in this one, the original, this one here, is actually a better kind of voice. It, it suits the character better. Uh, it's, this cartoon is actually based on it says here uh, a cartoon which was 27 minutes long called The Devil and uh, Dan Danielle Mouse. Basically, what that's about, real quick, is it's two mice. They sing in a club, and they're kind of like a folk singer kind of guys. And they they're not making any money. They're not, you know, they're, they're really poor. On the way home, uh, they have no money for food, so they're the, the boy mouse, they're, and they're basically mice. I don't know if I said that. They're mice, and he goes to sell his guitar so they can get money for food. It's really funny because he's trying to sell his guitar, and the, the pawn shop guy has got like a hundred guitars everywhere. Like he can't give them away. So as he's coming back, she's sitting there crying, be upset, and the devil comes to talk to her, and saying that we're gonna, I can make you famous, you'll be super rich, super, you know, everybody will love you, your songs will be the, the bomb, but you have to sign a contract, and when you reach your peak, I'm gonna come back and get you. But she agrees to it. I don't think I'd do that, but hey, I'm, uh, I'm a cartoon mouse, <laughs> and there would be no story. But that's what that's based on. So it's actually included in here as well. It's even got a um, how did, how they made that how they made that cartoon. There's all kinds of documentaries. There's a couple of documentaries in here about the movie, and it's really dated. Like you can see the '80s hairstyles and the computers and stuff. They're really really old computers and stuff. You can really tell. Um, but that's the movie. This is really cool. I just watched a lot of it. But you can't get a good grasp of the artwork for the movie from that. So what I want to show you is I also have Marvel Super Special of Rock and Roll. The official adaptation. Now this is basically like it's basically the cartoon on paper. It's really well done. The paper is really not cartoony kind of uh, comic book paper. It is I guess but it's a lot more almost feels like a, it's a little more thicker but uh, basically the beginning of the movie is it talks about how there was, the war is over the only survivors were street animals, dogs, cats, and rats. From them, a new race of mutants evolved. And that was a long time ago. So what hap basically what this movie is about is um, this guy named Mock wants to. He was a super super rocker. His 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 one of his albums was, his first album went crazy. He was super popular. He went he became super rich. But one of his concerts, he had I think it was two or three seats empty. And he freaked out and retired because he thought his career was over. So he started researching things and he found that there was a, a way to become immortal and all this, promised all this stuff. It was a gate that would release a demon. So he started searching for the pieces of the puzzle. And the only thing he didn't have was a certain voice with a certain frequency that could sing a song that would open the gate. And so he started holding talent searches looking for that voice. First, so he was at the club where Omar and Angel were singing, but at first it was just Omar. He wasn't too impressed. He's kind of a hard rocker, kind of almost like heavy metal kind of thing. And then something happened, and 
angel started to sing. And he, his eyes, he, he, that's who he needed. He realized that. So he basically stole her. Uh, he has, Mock has three guys that work for him. And they are right there. They ride on roller skates. They're called Toad, Sleazy, and Zip. Now Zip's a, Zip's an important part of the story near the end. He's kind of a slow guy. Uh, he's not very smart. And he's, he likes watching this cartoon. It talks about how you shouldn't be evil. should be nice to people and stuff. And so basically in the end, uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff that happens. Like the, I'll show you some of the artwork. It's, it's really qu quite good art. I mean, for the time, this was state-of-the-art stuff. By today's standards, obviously, this is not... Again, this is like sort of right from the movie, so I mean, this is the way it looked. Then in the end, they force Angel to sing. And... Um, there she is. She's being forced to sing. To open the gate. There she is. She's got a thing in her throat that's forcing her to sing. All of a sudden, all this stuff starts coming out, and it's like a big circle on the ground right in front of her. And there's uh, some scary-looking stuff there. It's a pretty scary-looking baby. That's what that is. And oh, so this demon comes out of the ground. There he is. There's the demon. And the only way to send it... So here, wait, sorry, here comes Omar. He's screaming her name, he's swinging his, his guitar like a battle axe there. And she gets released because he chops where she's being held, so releases her. And uh, what happens is the demon sends up energy at him. And uh, the Zip character, right there, takes the brunt of it for Omar, and Omar goes down, angels over him, and then the brother, Toad, is looking at his brother, like, why'd you do it? Because we're, cause he says, Zip says, we're not evil, are we? So Omar and Angel realize that if they start singing together, they can push the demon back. So they start singing together, and the songs are really kind of cool, actually. And there's, right here, Toad grabs the demon's being pushed back in, and Omar gets grabbed by a toad. Oops, my fingers are annoying. He kind of looks like a Mick Jagger almost. I can't sure if I said that or not, but I think he said that. He kind of looks like Mick Jagger, but and he pitches him in. Oops, oh. throws him in there. He's trying and he tries to get out. Right up here in the top corner. Oops, right there in the corner. But he gets sucked in and. And it closes forever. And the back of this book's really cool. It's got some concept art and like this. There's a sheriff in there, and this is one of the ways they were gonna draw him. They drew him. The one that colors the way they actually drew, drew him, and the other one's just concept. So it's and then here's where the history of the concepts what what they were gonna use for the girl, and like one more. So basically that's rock and roll. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool cartoon. You get a chance to check it out. Now remember it's it's dated, so. And one more cool thing I wanted to show you that I got for this rock and roll episode is uh, right here. If I can get it out real quick. I still have to get a thing for this, but it is. I have to actually stand up for this. I haven't opened this for a while. Now, back in the old days, posters were folded. So, give me a second here. I'm moving around here. Here it is. The original. This is an original 40, 27 by 41 of Rock and Roll poster. I'm going to fold it over here. There we go. Oh, silly me. I'll just put it over here. Alright, right back. Here we go. Here it is. So that's my original poster, my comic book, and my movie. Uh, thanks for watching. I just thought it was like to talk about this cool movie.
cartoon actually, cartoon movie. But thanks for watching. Bye-bye.